I, I remember I played a few games of water polo and I didn't love it, but then they needed an extra person for that one game and I stepped up and I put my hand up and I went straight from school um, and I loved it. I, you know, as soon as the first few games I didn't love water polo that much and then I was thrown in the deep end there with some older girls and from that moment on I just loved water polo and it was the sport for me. Jeff Hugel was my childhood sporting hero. I wanted to be an Olympic butterfly swimmer at the, um, when I was younger and then once I started with water polo I knew that was off the cards for me. So then from there my hero was Holly Lincoln Smith. She was the centre forward for the Stingers. She was an absolute powerhouse and yeah, I looked up to her ever since. The toughest lessons that I learnt when I was younger in a senior national team, I think the easy one to say is swimming. I had to improve my swimming really quickly. Uh, I was a fast swimmer but at the national level it jumps up a whole another step. I thought of it as a challenge and I love challenges and I love pressure. I think when I have pressure on my shoulders I play my best water polo. Um, yes it was intimidating being there with older girls but I, I really do think I thrived off it. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really lucky that I got thrown in the deep end early because yeah, I really had to step up to the plate. I definitely had to grow up fast. My mum says I'm wise beyond my years. I'm not sure how wise I am, but uh, I, you know, I had to learn quickly how to be a good teammate, how to play with the team, uh, the dynamics, because there are so many dynamics in water polo. Every player has their own role in the team. So, I mean, when I was younger, I had that role of being the young spirit, like light-hearted one, and then I carried that through, and that was sort of my role that I brought to the team and to the older girls and now that I'm getting to be one of the older girls I see younger girls like that which is really cool. Self-identity is huge in any sport. I, It's not something that I hugely battled with. There are days where you really question what am I doing? Am I doing this wrong today? And for me it's a day-by-day -day case but I think my identity is sort of like a, a carefree, free-flowing kind of personality in and out of the pool and I think there's always a spot for that in every team as long as there's a balance as well when it's time to lock in, it's time to lock in.